let's get started with a simple tutorial on Better Than Acrylic. Today we are going to cut it on the Cricut and then we will heat emboss it. The first thing that you want to do is peel off the protective coating that covers the Better Than Acrylic. Now I am taking off the top sheet of coating, but I'm going to leave the protective coating on the back. Because my Cricut mat is very sticky and I do not want to cloud up the Better Than Acrylic with my adhesive, I had to re-sticky this mat. I have the Doodle Charms cartridge loaded in the machine. I have my blade depth at 5. I did start out using it at 6, but found that I get just as good of results by having it on 5. I have the multi-cut set to 2, pressure max, and speed high. So not max, but high. It may be kind of hard to see because it is a clear material. And you may not have to multi-cut too. I'm not sure, I just automatically started out that way. And it cuts it nice and clean. And if you look, it'll just pop right out. Sometimes the protective coating, if you leave it on the back, it doesn't, with blade depth on five, it doesn't completely cut through the protective coating. I think if you bump the blade depth back up to six, it will. But there you go. There's your snowman on the Cricut. The first thing I want to do is stamp a face onto my snowman. I am going to use a Stazon Jet Black ink pad and a Peachy Keen face stamp. Now I'm trying to do this from around the camera. So hopefully I can see what I'm doing and get the face where it goes. You want to be very careful not to slide the stamp around. Just gently set it. Give it just a light amount of pressure. And then hold your image down and lift straight up. You can do this one of two ways. You can go ahead and heat emboss on the front of the snowman over your face stamp, but you have to be careful when adding the Versamark that you don't smear or smudge the ink. It sets pretty good, and I have had good results that way, but for me, I prefer to go ahead and turn it over and do the embossing on the opposite side as my face stamp. And I also want to alcohol ink the little twig arms to make them look a little more realistic. So let's go ahead and flip it over. I'm going to do the alcohol ink on the back side. I do not have a brown alcohol ink, but I have a slate. So it's kind of a dark color and I think it'll work all right. And depending how dark you want the alcohol ink, you can put, on, put it on there and just kind of let it run and it will be pretty dark. Or you can use a blending tool to kind of blend it out. See if you wanted, you could just kind of try to aim it where you wanted and then leave it and let it dry. But I'm going to blend it on down just a little bit. Do the other side. And if you decide you want it darker, you can add a little bit more. Once your alcohol ink is good and dry, You'll take a, I'm using a Versamark watermark stamp pad so it's clear. Now my Versamark is very used so my stamp pad might look a little rough, but it still works. And you're simply going to cover the better than acrylic with the Versamark. Be sure to get to the edges. Then you're going to take either your ultra thick embossing enamel or today I'm actually using embossing powder. It's Kaleidoscope by Stamp Stuff. Sprinkle it right over the top. It's okay if you sprinkle it on nice and thick, but you want to shake off as much as possible. Because if you leave it too thick, you have to heat emboss it longer. The longer you have to heat emboss, 
the more of a chance that you can melt, the better than acrylic. So shake it off really well. And then it's kind of hard because you don't want to wipe off on any of the embossing powder. Just try to find a place that you can either use a pair of tweezers to hold it, or I have a little tool here that I'm just going to kind of try to hold it right here at the bottom. You can hold it up in the air with your tweezers, but since I'm around the camera, this is probably easier. And then just pick an area to start with. And you hold it for a few seconds, move away, just kind of move it different places, and then just back off and let it cool for a couple seconds. You want the embossing powder to get warm, but not hot. It's better to take your time and have to do it just a little bit longer, because if you get it too hot all at once, it will melt. Ah. You can hold the embosser fairly close to the better than acrylic. Just don't leave it too long at once. That's really the trick. And eventually you'll see it start to change. That's the magic. When you first start heat embossing, I would recommend starting with a small scrap of better than acrylic rather than your actual image for your project. Because when I first started, I did melt a couple pieces. Just a little bit of trial and error. It actually curls the chipboard before it curls the better than acrylic, which is kind of funny. Let's take a look at it and see if that's good. And the way that I tell is I let it cool for just a second and then lift it up. And I look at the back side of it. And like right through here, it looks like we could hit it just a little bit more, maybe up towards the top. But overall, it looks pretty good. To go ahead and dress the snowman up just a little bit, on the side that I embossed, that's kind of rough, I'm going to add just a little bit of red chalk to the cheeks. Then if you wanted to add a hat, you could add a little scarf, you could add buttons. Now we do probably want to punch a hole in the top of its head to run a string or ribbon through. When you punch it, you have to slide it down off of the little post of the hole punch. And there you go. I'll lay him down so that maybe you can get a better look at how sparkly it is. Okay, I think we should really add a little scarf. I think that snowman needs a cute little scarf. So that the ribbon or scarf doesn't look like it's way up over its head, I've added a glue dot to the ribbon, and I'll just place it right where I want it on the back of the snowman. Run its little scarf around. Then you could tie it in a little knot, but I think I'm just going to add another little glue dot. Actually, it'll be a couple glue dots. And you could tie it off to the side if you wanted, or really, really whatever you prefer. Then you could add some cute little buttons and add your string and you have a super cute little ornament done on the Cricut with Better Than Acrylic. If you have questions regarding the Better Than Acrylic, you can go to my blog, bugjunkie.blogspot.com. I will also put a link um, under the comments or the description of this video.